What is going on all my YouTubers? Today I'm going to be showing you how to jailbreak iOS 6.1.3 on any device um, before A4 chip or A4 and below. And you do need your iPhone IPSW. You can download this off this website. And you also do need Red Snow, the newest version, as you can see right here. And I'll have a link to both of them in the description below. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, so you do need to plug in your iPhone. Um, it should show it at the bottom of your screen. So I'll go ahead and plug in your device. And as you can see at the bottom, it says you're connected. And you don't click jailbreak since um, it's not officially out. You do go to extras and you select your IPSW. Now you're just going to go ahead and locate this. If you can't find it, go to your search. And once again, you do have to download that. And once you find it, you go ahead and click open. This does have to be on the 6.0 version. And I'll have a link to that again. And once you do, it'll say successfully identified. And now you can go ahead and click the jailbreak button. So once you jailbreak, it'll um, just be like the normal jailbreak. It takes you through and Red Snow's real nice. It automatically brings you through everything. So it just patches everything and it's real nice. Now you do need to power down your device, so you're just going to hold the power button for a few seconds and slide it to power off. And just wait for it to completely shut down and have the loading logo go away. Now once you do that, you can go ahead and click next. And Red Snow will show you um, how to go through the process. It's real simple. Um, you hold the power button for 3 seconds, and then without letting go of it, you hold the home button for another 10 seconds. Eight, six, five, four, three, and so on. And then you're going to let go of the power button, but hold on to the home button. Now, you don't want to screw this up. If you do screw this up, you do have to start all over again. So don't screw it up. Now, once it's through, it will start doing its own thing. You can let go of the home button. And I just sped this up real quick, but this is what your screen will look like. It is sped up eight times, so it does take quite a while. And it will start booting up by itself. Once it boots up, um, since this is not a completely untethered jailbreak, you do have to go ahead and go click just boot, and you do have to select your IPSW again, that is a critical step, and click jailbreak. Now, um, it'll have the screen, and your iPhone should boot up, um, and Cydia should appear, and it'll be, op be able to open, and you can go ahead and select user, and just load up Cydia as you usually would. Now, I'm gonna also going to show you how to do semi untether you're gonna add this source right here um right here the big boss.org uh backslash semi untether you're gonna add that source and you're gonna install a package that comes with it now this does take a while to install the source do not click cancel and uh there it is it's finished and you're gonna go into that and install semi tether and once again, you don't want to cancel this, and it will install it. Now there's semi tether, and just it says. To so thanks guys for watching, and if you want to check out how to um, install all these tweaks, I'll have another video up. And if you enjoyed this, please slap that like button and subscribe to this channel. Once again, thanks guys for watching. This is Edward with the Apple Tips and Tricks.